Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about the La Griddle. It's stainless steel, it's brand new. We're gonna put it through its paces. We just made a fantastic bacon cheeseburger patty melt style. If you guys wanna see this, here we go. Alrighty, the unit is put together. Before I put this griddle top on, I wanted you to see it. Oh, it's heavy. They say it's about 70 pounds. So for a two burner, that is heavy. Full steel, we got the metal place for even heat distribution. We should be able to test that out. I just wanted you to get a quick look. First things first, before I even turn it on, I just wanna make sure I just throw some soap and water down there. Just make sure there's no oils or debris or anything like that. The one thing I'll call you on really quickly is please, please, please pay attention to the manufacturer instructions. That's what we are going to go by um, initially, unless we see something that shouldn't be there or we can guarantee a different method that's far superior. Been in the Navy, cooking with stainless steel was kind of like our number one thing. Uh, every single morning the griddle would start up. So I'm glad to be back on stainless steel. Griddle tops cleaned off. Uh, some things of note. Uh, mentioning the uh, manufacturer instructions. This specific model does not need to be seasoned. Most stainless steel does not need to be seasoned. If you have one from a different brand, I would encourage you to look at their manufacturer instructions. We're just specifically talking about the brand that we received and we're reviewing today, La Griddle. A uh, quick update, it seems like they have moved their manufacturing from wherever they started from to the United States of America. Excited about that, being a veteran myself, that's pretty exciting. Other than that, I think we're gonna have a fantastic cook. We're gonna play around. The one thing that the instructions said, I understand the concept, we'll have to figure out plan B. Do not use an infrared thermometer, it's not gonna work. It doesn't report the correct temperatures, okay? So, what does that mean? Now I get to finally show you that we can cook without using a thermometer. You already see I'm grinning, it's back to my roots. So here we go. First things first, let's turn it on. All right, we had it all put together. The one thing I forgot to mention uh, before we even got started was the, the package quality. Um, you guys know that we went through several griddles so far, and I do not think it's a fair assessment to blame the delivery drivers when the boxes are so big and so heavy. This came in two boxes, uh, extremely well put together, um, did not worry about it one bit. I cannot reiterate how important it is to understand that this griddle top is heavy. So coming in two boxes, I think it alleviates a lot of that um, pressure when somebody is by themselves taking off a truck. Uh, packaged very, very well. Nothing was dented, damaged, or anything like that. So kudos to that. Let's get cooking. Alrighty, before we get started, I thought I could do two at one and kind of like prep over here and talk about La Griddle. La Griddle reached out, you guys know me by now, look, we have our own parameters of what we feel like is fair to you guys. And they agreed to uh, what we thought we could do for uh, review wise and just being brutally honest about the griddle. I appreciate them for doing it. This griddle is manufactured and made in the USA, positive note for me. You guys know I like my Lone Star Grills because that reason and my TMG pits. I do know this video is not for everybody because it's stainless. It is up a little bit higher in the price point, but that does not mean there's not an audience for it. We've got bombarded by people the last few years. Hey, what about stainless because it doesn't rust? They live like in the coastal lawns uh, or the Northeast. Uh, they have their outdoor kitchens and they want to spend that money and that's up to them. Um, being from the Navy, stainless is the way we grew up. Like there was no other of these options. Stainless is the way we did it. So I'm super excited to be back on the stainless. Uh, last but not least, you guys know the deal, right? We're gonna cook on it, put it through its paces. You're talking about breakfast, lunch, dinner, hot spots, cold spots, how even it is. I think it's gonna be pretty even. Um, the temperature zones, care and maintenance, you name it. Other than that, I think we've got a fantastic idea for you because I'm starving. We're talking about a burger with like bacon, jalapeno, onion, cheese, maybe an egg, I don't know, on some sourdough bread, kind of like a, a Frisco melt, if you will. All right, you guys ready? Yep. Let's go. Just got a little jalapeno here. I just think it would be a great addition. We've been using uh, raw jalapenos a lot lately. All 
All right, so just for playing around for the first time, I've got this on medium, this on low, because now I'm just checking to see the zones. What kind of temperature fluctuations can we get? Uh, when we're talking about stainless steel, LaGriddle recommends do not use an infrared thermometer because the beam actually reflects back and gives you a false sense of the temperature. So you're supposed to use a contact style thermometer. We will have to get one. I'll have to show you guys what we're talking about. Honestly, didn't know they made it, so I had no idea. We didn't use thermometers in the Navy. That's a good sign already. Notice the difference? Yep, I was going to say that. Yep. It's definitely lower. Yep. So what this shows you already is the fact that over here is gonna be a little bit cooler. And since we are working on a two zone system, you can definitely tell there's not much bleed over. This side right here is medium and you can see these aren't even cooked as well. That's kind of a good thing and a bad thing. We can get that out later. I am gonna adjust this up to medium. Just to be able to cook the bacon the rest of the way and then we can adjust our temps from there. One of the first things I noticed, the sides are gonna be a little bit cooler, but it does look like the edge closest to you guys that are viewing is definitely hot enough to cook. You don't have a cool spot up here. It looks like it's ready to rumble, which is a pretty good idea. Put your bacon off to the side so it doesn't overcook. Like anything, we've preached it a thousand times, you gotta learn your griddle. As you saw, pretty easy to clean, pretty impressed with that. Literally just water gets it right off. So we got a little crud left over from the bacon. I love that. We got a little uh, oil reserved up there from the bacon as well. Kind of like that bacon grease. So down we go with the uh, onions and jalapenos. Just take a little softened butter. And on that rustic sourdough, just give it a nice spread. Some people say mayonnaise. Personally, not a fan of the mayonnaise on the bread than toasting it. Whatever you like. Just like in all griddles, when you're learning it, I just pulled those vegetables off to the side for a second so I can concentrate on that. Pull them over. Man, that smells good. Mm. Just a little touch of shake that, not much. Take this off. That's what we're looking for right there. That's what we're looking for. Move those over really quick. It's always important on stainless steel. I can't, if there's one thing I can tell you right now, and that's just being brutally honest, you're gonna have to learn to clean it as you go, okay? Stainless steel is extremely, um, not necessarily sticky, but if you want your eggs to come off clean, you gotta start off with a clean griddle. If you got a lot of fond left over from bacon, sausage, beef, whatever, it's not gonna come up. Just playing around. Remember, I can judge a griddle just by the temperature of the butter. That looks like a soft melt. It's not burning, anything like that. I'm extremely pleased with how little heat comes out from the sides. Um, it doesn't look like anything's really getting torched that bad from the sides. The toast. I think they actually that. say that you can use this as a built-in. 
unit. Yeah. No seasoning. We didn't season the griddle. We just added butter, hit it at the right temp, and there we go. You're talking about diner style eggs. Perfect. Look at that telltale sign right there. You see that smoke? That means that the oil or grease that we have down has reached its smoke point, okay? Same thing when you're seasoning the griddle, which means this side of the griddle is ripping hot. I always use avocado oil. If we're still smoking, that means we're above 450 degrees, probably closer to 500 degrees. Now that I've gauged the temperature on the griddle, I'm just gonna move that uh, oil out of the way. Clean surface. Hit it with some burger seasoning. And if we did everything right, we should have one of the best crusts you've ever seen. That's the benefit of stainless steel. Yep. And that right there is edge to edge, perfect Maillard reaction. Not many griddles besides stainless steel can get that. It's just the way it conducts heat. That stainless steel allows that beef to stick. That's why we scrape that oil off there. I wanted that beef to stick and that's what you get. Cheddar. Maybe your right bicep might be bigger than your left after this griddle. Well, that's not law. <laughs> Alrighty, simply enough just to build. We got mayonnaise on the bottom, followed by some pickles. We like them, we add extra. Add those stacked patties. A couple nice layers of bacon. And just top it just like that. There we go. Nice little start for the La Griddle. And no griddle review would be complete without our bread test. The griddle's been on low for roughly um, 18 minutes. Since we have no idea what the temperature is, all we're doing is looking for colorization to see how even the griddle is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. you, you, you have to rip some. Right, the bread tests don't lie. Wow, I didn't expect that. That's part of it. I'm actually gonna to wait to the other side of the bread toast because I'm so shocked by the results that I just wanna make sure that we're doing everything the week is the same. So I flipped it over just to double check. So just to give you an idea. So obviously this is a hot spot like right through here. What I assumed was Pretty much the whole thing would be even except the edges. Um, but you can see here when we flip it over, a little bit darker here because it bleeds in. You throw this over, pretty much even. You throw this over, which means it's bleeding over there. Shows the exact same pattern. This is a little bit light in the middle and darker in the middle. But we'll just have to cook on it, play around with it and see what happens. I'm not gonna let the toast deter me. Like anything, you have got to use your uh, zones. You've got to learn your temperatures. And for that, it should be a good griddle. I'm just surprised. All right, guys, there you go. There is the La Griddle. That right there is just a thing of beauty. Mm. Mm. Damn. <laughs> that good? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. 
It is. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. I know. I want another bite. <laughs> If you guys are interested, check us out on Instagram. Also, check us on Facebook. Hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share it with your friends. Peace. Mm. That is a bite of heaven. That is amazing. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I got to be honest. We went to a high dollar restaurant yesterday. That burger is better. Mm-hmm.